brings our next big title fight for the IKF European Junior Light Heavyweight title and your kickboxers in the ring. In the blue corner, from Ireland, Patrick McFadden. And his opponent in the red corner, representing the TKO elite, it's the baby faced assassin, Shannon Carpenter. Five one and a half minute rounds for the title. McFadden will have a slight height advantage, but Carpenter comes straight in to put his man under pressure. Looking to back him up immediately. Solid roundhouses and left and right hands. Forcing McFadden look to hold to get back into this round. Carpenter really set out his stall early here, looking to go through the channel. Nice turn from McFadden. Nice roundhouse as well from the man from Ireland. Nice round as again as he comes forward. Carpenter ducks under the following shot. And again, both men using good legs here. Nice kickboxing styles. Spin kick round has from Carpenter. And again, the round has to set up the big right round has, which landed. Comes clean through the channel. Short right hands underneath from McFadden, but Carpenter lands the right over the top. Again, they break cleanly, listening to the referee. Carpenter again with the roundhouse. Just out of range, the second one lands. Ducks under the shot from McFadden, but misses with his own right hand. And a big right hand misses again. McFadden, some nice little work on the inside with the jab. Well, lively opening round. I feel the cleaner work and more of it was done by the young man in the red corner. Jaden Carpenter. Two. So two of five. I have the lively baby-faced assassin taking that opening round. And he started fast again. McFadden though, happier to stand and trade with him now. Much better start to the second round from the lad in the blue corner. Spins, just slightly telegraphed it, so Carpenter could see it. But he pushes in again, and McFadden turns him, looks for the right round, has better start from the blue corner. Much more intent here in the opening second and second round. Nice right round, has left round, has combo though from Carpenter. McFadden turns nicely. Oh, just missed with the uppercut and pays for it, McFadden. Carpenter tucks up nicely as McFadden comes forward with the punches. Nice slip and roundhouse again. Good work from Carpenter. Spin kick pushes his opponent back, then the roundhouse follows up nicely. Hook kick just off target, but the follow up kick lands. Madden stalking roundhouse, left hand combo, the left hand just misses. Right to the body from Carpenter, the right to the head just misses, but the left roundhouse to the midsection lands. Another good round for the man in the red corner. So three of five, and Carpenter comes out, legs blazing left and right. It's nice movement from McFadden. He really has got good movement.
And the game just skips out of the way, but he needs to launch an offensive as he tried there. But Carpenter, good front push kick to the face of McFadden. And then the exchange punches. They're pretty even in the boxing. It's the kicking ability of Carpenter that's shining through at the moment. And again, looks for the roundhouse spins. Gets back in position, lands with the right this time. McFadden looking to work the body, but he needs to kick more himself as well. Good roundhouse from McFadden on the way in. Carpenter turns in, looks to work the big right hands to the left hand side of the rib cage. Then a jumping kick. And it does land. And the side kick catches McFadden as he comes in. The kicking definitely being the difference between these two young men in this bout. Carpenter looking to break free. Sweep attempt from McFadden, doesn't work. Uppercut from Carpenter on the left hand. Hook just misses three rounds to the good. I've got the red corner at the moment. And it's the kicking ability of the babyface assassin. But it's the difference between these two young men at the moment. So four or five. And again, no touching gloves from Carpenter. All business tonight. McFadden nods up to say, okay, that's the way you want to play it. Looks to spin with the kick, but Carpenter right on him again. Both boys slick turning, as you saw there. Biden looking to come forward and throw. Lands with the roundhouse, Carpenter just off with the big bolo punch. Looking to land his own shots now. And the tie up pace has just slowed here in the fourth. It's been a fast pace fight. And the pace just beginning to tell on both young men now. Just a bit scrappy this fourth round compared to the other three. Roundhouse again on the end there. And the spinning jump kick from Chaden. And that's the difference, as I said, the variety and versatility of his kicking technique. A little uppercut on the inside from Carpenter. Front kick, right hook to the body. Well, shovel punch really, and it landed. McFadden looking to push forward now. Carpenter with the short right hand to the midsection. The clubbing roundhouse again across the body. Good finish to the round, and I've got him four up. So here we go, it's the fifth and final round and McFadden comes out of the blocks. He knows he needs a big, big round here. But Carpenter ready to stand and trade with him. Big roundhouse to the head and moves away. Oh, misses just with the spinning kick as well. And McFadden just out of range with the roundhouse. Turns his man nicely though. And looking to box his way in as Carpenter misses with the roundhouse. Best start to the round so far from the man in the blue corner. Carpenter looks to stand in the middle of the ring with him. Good opening 30 seconds from McFadden here in the fifth and final. And a great roundhouse doubles it up Carpenter and it it really does show that this has been the difference in this fight, the way that Carpenter brings those kicks in. Right uppercut and right hook combination. Spinning <laughs> reverse side kick actually lands the midsection. McFadden took it so well, but how Carpenter landed it from that angle was superb. So Carpenter looking again to get those legs going. Superman punch from McFadden. Been his best round, round five. It's not going to be enough, but we saw what Patrick McFadden's capable of. 
but I think it's going to be a big win and the European title for the Babyface Assassin. We do have a unanimous decision. The European Junior Light Heavyweight title belt around the waist of the Babyface Assassin. 